Hello and welcome to the Daily Mill, Saturday the 15th of April 2023. Today was match day and Mill ended up winning 2 0 against Preston North. And so this is the match report from MillFC.co.uk. Mill secured vital win over Preston North End. Tom Bradshaw and Zion Fleming, who else, fired Mill to a 2 0 victory over Preston North End in the Skybet Championship. On Saturday afternoon, the duo struck their 15th and 14th goals of the season, respectively, in either half to consolidate the Lions' place in the top six with four matches to play. Darrow Rout made one enforced change to his starting 11 for the visit of the Lily Whites as Andres Vogel Summer replaced the injured George Honeyman. Mason Bennett, meanwhile, stepped up to the substitutes bench. A former Millwall man was the first to have a shot on goal, but as Troy Barrett advanced into the area, his effort was high and wide. Iron Wild. Uh, Murray Wallace then had to withdraw after just seven minutes through a knock. Scott Malone, his replacement, with the Lions then having their final, first chance as good play through the middle saw the ball break to Oliver Burke. His touch, however, let him down and the ball rolled out of play. There were 14 minutes on the clock though when the Lions found the back of the net after Mill kept the ball alive on the left hand side. Zion Fleming made space to clear the cross when awaiting Bradshaw. With the Welshman rising highest to nod home. Preston were almost back in it minutes later, but Jules Long saved well from Josh Bonimer's drive before Parrot's follow up was blocked, with Tom Cannon then rolling a shot wide as a half hour mark approached. There was then a momentary bout of worry as Billy Mitchell had to hack away from danger in the six yard box following a short corner routine before Andrew Hughes caused Long to save with his feet as the visitors continued to hunt for the equaliser. Mill did manage to work the ball forward with just over 10 minutes uh, to play in the half, but Fleming took too long to strike after he received Vogel Sammer's pass. Uh, Mitchell was placed well to block a power attempt as the second half got underway. With the Lions perhaps fortunate that Daniel Johnson failed to make a connection following a sweeping of Preston move on 52 minutes. Preston boss Ryan Lowe made four changes. Uh, just after the hour mark as the atmosphere inside the bin cranked up, leading to Rowan responding and bringing on Duncan Watmore and Romain SA who replaced Burke and Vogelshammer. On 72 minutes, the Lions bagged their second. It came through the boot of Dutchman Fleming as he latched onto JQ was knocked down from a balloon free kick, with number 10 hitting a half body pass the despairing dive of Freddie Woodman. Uh, Watmore's deflected cross had to be plucked out of the air by the stopper as Mill broke away in search of a third, with 14 minutes to play, for SA's trickery landed him an attempt, but it was stopped by Woodman. Slack defending then almost allowed North End a cheap way back into the game, but a combination of Long and Cooper managed to clear the ball off the line. Uh, goal scorers Bradshaw and Fleming left the field with five minutes to go to a standing ovation, with referee Tim Robinson blowing the whistle to a happy den as the Lions held onto their top sixth place. And the team was as follows. Long, McNamara, Hutchinson, Cooper, Wallace, Mitchell, Saville, Vogelsammer, Fleming, Burke, and Bradshaw. Uh, the subs won Malone on for Wallace in the 7th minute. Watmore on for Vogelsammer in the 70th minute. Shackleton on for Fleming in the 85th minute. SA on for Burke in the 70th minute. And Bennett on for Bradshaw in the 85th minute. And the unused subs were Biakovsky and Evans. And that was, was game was played in front of a crowd of 16,488 with 1,173 away fans. So moving on to the match report from Southern News. Uh, I'm not going to read that obviously because we just read a match report. But we're going to go down and look at their takeaways. Bradders ends the goalless run. Uh, Mills' form in front of goal has been rotten, so there is no surprise that it was a top scorer that ended the, the run and got his side in front. It was a superb header from a striker who does not boast incredible height, rising highest to flick the ball into the net past the helpless Woodman early in the first half. His 15th goal in the season and one of his finest strikes too. Zion finds his finish. Fleming has threatened to find the back of the net for weeks, albeit that this has been one of his quieter runs of the season. Dutchman had chances throughout the game, but took his goal with Stahl in the 72nd minute. Put the result beyond doubt. Uh, a fantastic volley that comes off a fine free kick routine. 
uh, leading him to 14, taking him 14 for the campaign. Uh, a crucial win at the Den, given how Preston had been doing in recent weeks, this game was always going to be massive. To win it with a clean sheet was fantastic for Mill, who needed to calm the nerves in case results elsewhere went against them. It sets them up perfectly to face Birmingham City here on Tuesday night. Indeed. So, Gary Rowett reacts as Mill will beat Preston in a tight battle at the Den. Uh, also from southernnews.co.uk, the Lions managed to beat Ryan Lowe's men this afternoon, despite registering fewer shots on target. Gary Rowett was delighted that his side were able to, defend, uh, to end their four-match winless and goalless run, but admitted that their victory against Preston North End was edgier than he would have liked. The Lions picked up all three points for the first time since March 14, thanks to goals from Tom Bradshaw and Zion Fleming, uh, helping the Lions stay in fifth with four games to go. Um, However, they had to do it the hard way with their playoff rivals threatening throughout the game, registering more shots than Rowett's men. Uh, the manager stressed that the result was the most important thing, especially given his side's recent form. The goals were important, uh, as much as the win was important for us, he said after the game. After the last four games and not getting the result we deserved, it felt uh, a little bit like a must-win, a must-perform game. I also think that the fact that these two have been out of goals Four or five uh, gives uh, uh, games. It was really important that they get got back on the score sheet today. Uh, there were a lot of positives: uh, a goal each, a clean sheet, some big performances. Uh, I think Sab stepped up once again and was excellent. Scott Malone coming in for Muzza. He hasn't played for a long time, but it was a seamless transition. He handled it really well. Um, the likes of Billy coming in, uh, Coop, Sanucci. I don't need to mention them because they keep doing it every week. I thought it was the edgiest we've, we've looked on the ball. Maybe it was magnitude of the game. I'm not sure. Maybe it was the fact that we had uh, the goals we deserved. We went to home, played really, really well on the ball. Made loads of chances, but we lost the game. Uh, today, we looked edgy on the ball, gave it away too much. And up until the second goal, I felt we looked a bit nervy. I can understand that. and I think that uh, that caused a lot of our problems. Preston are a good side, they're in good form, and I thought at one stage it looked like they felt the pressure just as much as us. It was an edgy game. Exactly. Um, yeah, we didn't create 22 chances and didn't end up scoring one of them. We, we created like six and we scored two of them. And we won the game. And that's all it takes. That's all it takes. Uh, moving on. Uh, Mill boss delighted for Tom Brasher and Zion Fleming, but reveals defensive frustrations after Preston win. The Lions often rode their luck at the end, uh, but were able to beat Ryan Lowe's side to score their top first win since uh, March 14th. Indeed, indeed. Um, we were quite lucky today. Uh, Gary Rout was pleased to see Tom Brasher and Zion Fleming back on the score sheet in Mill's 2 0 win against Preston North End, but admitted they decided to shape off the ball was an area of concern. The Lions picked up all three points at the den thanks to Bradshaw's header in the first half and Fleming's volley after the break. They were perhaps lucky to leave with all three points given how Preston performed in front of goal. The Lily Whites managed more shots and more shots on target than their opponents but were unable to beat Jules Long as Gary Rout's men secured their first win in four games. However, the manager was still frustrated by how his side set up on and off the ball, adding that they needed to show more composure to play out a more comfortable game. I thought our front four, uh, particularly our wide players, ended up too far up the pitch in the first half. He admitted after the game. Uh, for me, the games are about controlling space uh, with and without the ball. When you see lots of space on the pitch, when the opposition get, I don't feel comfortable. You feel like there's something wrong with our defensive shape. Uh, while they didn't have loads of big chances, they had enough opportunities uh, in and around the edge of the box where we've had to get a toe on it, uh, read that last 1v1 or just block something. We've spoken about it after the last four games. Uh, we haven't given lo away loads of chances. Today I thought we gave away too much of the ball and too much territory. We just looked a bit edgy. What I would say is that we found a way to win the game. It was a good goal, Zion. Uh, he puts in a lovely ball for Bradders. A great header for the first one. <coughs> Pardon me. 
uh, the second one came out a really, really good time for us. We were under the cost a tiny bit of free kick. Coop sets it down. Zion reads it. It sees a little bit of space. Uh, he runs it. He finishes actually better than it looks. It's quite acrobatic. And he actually has to get his leg up quite high and control it. It's not an easy finish. It's a really, really good call to put us 2-0 up. Brad a score. Zion's, uh, Zion scores. Clean sheet. And I thought we looked reasonably comfortable after that. Yep. Uh, here we go. Injury update. Uh, Mill boss going out on Murray Wallace injury. Rules out midfield of the season and discusses Scott Malone's impact. So this is from uh, LondonNewsOnline.co.uk. Murray Wallace came off with a quad issue in Mill's 2-0 win over Preston North End today. The Scottish left back was replaced by Scott Malone in the early ages of the champ uh, stages of the championship. Game at the den. The Lions were already missing George Honeyman, whose hamstring injury looks to have ended his campaign. Uh, Musa felt a sharp pain, said Brad. Your initial reaction is that if Musa feels that way, then you seem to be reasonably serious at this stage of the season. When I say serious, I mean more than a few weeks. I don't know the severity. We'll have to wait to see how it settles and probably scan it. George Honeyman looks like he's going to miss the season with his hamstring injury. He's also had an issue with his shoulder. So we'll probably try to sort both of those out. <laughs> One of the biggest threats. <clears throat> He's running out of players as much as the position we are in. Trying to get enough points to get into the top six. Uh, we haven't got many defenders left. Uh, Malone is due to be out of contract at the end of the season. I'm a big fan of Scotty. We've got a nice balance between us. A very defensive mind. It's a strong committed and aggressive and Scotty's got that little bit of lovely balance feel for the ball going forward. Uh, one thing I knew today when he came on was that he would give us a little bit of composure and whenever it went out east side he's been in this situation before and he's been in the Premier League. He handled the ball really well and defended really well. He made some blocks and last minute challenges. Uh, he's been really unfortunate he hasn't played more football but because we've been uh, going well and not conceding that much there hasn't been any reason to change it, but certainly I've been really pleased with him coming back to the side. Indeed, now listening and hearing from uh, the opposition manager, this is from LondonNewsOnline.co.uk. Uh, I don't want to dwell on it. Preston Boss Low supplies verdict and 2 0 defeat at your wall. Preston manager Ryan Lowe was disappointed. With the goals his side conceded in a 2 0 defeat to Millwall this afternoon, the Lions secured their first win in the five championship games of a 2 0 success over the Lancashire outfit thanks to Tom Bradshaw and Zion Fleming scoring their 15th and 14th goals of the season, respectively, after only a sh second defeat in their last seven matches, winning five of those. Low 44 was impressed with his side's overall performance. I'm disappointed in terms of the result, said Low. The performance was good. I don't want to dwell on it too long, though, because there's another game on Wednesday. I'm disappointed with the two goals. Uh, we played some fantastic stuff. There were good moments in that game. Uh, if we get one, we probably get two. Take nothing away from Millwall. Uh, we knew what to expect. We knew what they were going to do. We got undone by ourselves, not dealing with two balls coming into the box. Not being clinical enough in front of the goal. Preston had 61% possession but failed to trouble George Long on a regular basis throughout the 90 minutes. Uh, the line stopper made an important double save in the first half, but after that, he was rarely called on. It was that clinical edge in both boxes, said Lowe. At the, at the top end, the attacking end, we weren't clinical enough. Uh, we knew what we were coming up against in the Millwall team. They're solid and resolute in what they do. And that's what they were today. They were effective in two moments. Disappointing. Uh, because we've been solid and resolute ourselves in dealing with those balls. Because we've come up against a bit of that. But Mill will have a bit more quality than the teams we've played of late. And we knew that and we, we said that. Uh, they found two moments and we didn't. The defeat leaves North End three points behind Mill with four games to go. Lowe said. All we need to do is give ourselves a fighting chance. As I've said all along. 
we want to try and finish in the top timing because of where we are. And we just have to let this one go and move on as quickly as we can. I don't think it was a bad performance. But if we can pick points up like we have done, we went three back to back wins, nine points in more or less a week. That's massive. Uh, come Wednesday and Saturday, we'll get a better idea of where we could finish. Indeed, there is a full midweek round of fixtures on Tuesday and Wednesday, and we'll all play Birmingham on Tuesday. Now, that game today uh, was one of many games, and these are the results from other games in the league today. Uh, Sheffield United beat Cardiff 4 1. Sunderland beat Birmingham 2 1. West Brom beat Stoke 2 1. Reading somehow drew 0 0 with Burnley. Um, what else have we got? Coventry, of course, beat QPR 3 0. Luton carried on winning and won 2 0 at Rotherham. And Blackburn drew 0 0 with Hull. And what that does is it leaves the table looking like this. You can see we all in fifth. Um, 65 points with uh, having played 42. Blackburn have a game in hand on us. And uh, commentary in seventh on 62 points on the same goal difference as us. I certainly think that they knew today when they were playing QPR that that was a good opportunity to get some extra goals. And I think they kept on pushing right until the end. Um, so you can see quite a few teams. Uh, you've got Preston there, 62 points. We're in 8th with minus 6 goal difference. You've got Sunderland, plus 9 goal difference, 61. Norwich, plus 8, 61. Um, West Brom, plus 7, 60. So, uh, yes, very interesting. In terms of, so... There's four games left to go for most of the teams, which is 12 points. So, um, it's still to play for. And that carries on immediately in uh, on Tuesday. We play Birmingham at home. And you'd like to think if we win that, that's going to go a long way to um, securing our playoff place. But... Uh, it's still very tight. It's still very tight. It's uh, still incredibly tight. But uh, there you go, Mill one fifth, sixty-five points. Good stuff. And on that note, thank you for watching, and goodbye.